Good afternoon, everybody. This is a color comparison between <laughs> um, Beltress's British Milk Tea and Brown Sugar Sweet Cream. Um, but before I get started on that, I came across a listing on eBay this morning selling a January, I think it's a 22F16, and unfortunately using screenshots from my video review to sell their used wig. And um, I don't know who this person is. It may be somebody who is a subscriber to the channel. Uh, I immediately sent a note to the seller that said, this listing features screenshots from the video review of this wig, of my, my, my video review of this wig without my permission please remove them. And I signed my name and my channel. Now, that is not to say that if somebody asked my permission to use my fo a photo of a, wi me of a wig uh, from my channel, I might not get permission. I, I might, I might not. But I can guarantee you that if you don't ask, I don't give you my permission. Um, if you happen to come across my pictures anywhere, anywhere by a retailer by an individual selling a used wig if it's using my likeness my face a screenshot from one of my videos or one of my pictures um, at this point in time I can guarantee you they do not have permission to use them I've had <laughs> this happen when they when someone stole pictures of one of my breeder quality Americana chickens to sell their hatching eggs from their stock but if they have their stock, why are they stealing my photos? Do you see what I'm saying? Um, I had to approach eBay about that one. So, um, there are people who believe that if you find it on the internet, it is free for you to use and nothing could be further from the truth. It doesn't matter if you watermark it, you don't watermark it. This, one of the screenshots even had some of my wording, you know, where I correct myself or I say something in particular um, and even left it up there. It wasn't just the picture. So, um, now no one has permission to use my photos or screenshots from my videos. Nobody. So, if you come across it, either report it or please contact the seller or tell me and I'll contact the seller. So, now that that business is out of the way, let's go ahead and get you a wig in brown sugar sweet cream. This is my lemonade in brown sugar sweet cream. I'm sorry, it's not as curly as Kona. Um, but the only other one I have <laughs> is Caliente, and that's much longer, so I thought it would be better to show you one at least in the same general length. This Kona is longer than Lemonade, especially in the back. Uh, lemonade is, um, only a couple inches at the nape, and it's undercut, but you, I think you'll see the difference. The only similarity that I think there is between Brown Sugar Sweet Cream and British milk tea. Um, there are some tones in there that are similar, but the main, let me see if I can get this out here. Let me see. The main similarity would be the root. The root tones to me are fairly similar. The brown sugar sweet cream is a mix of light, medium, and dark brunettes um, with some some sort of, there, there are some blondish highlights in here. Uh, on, on some uh, presentations of brown sugar sweet cream, they might be a little cooler than others. Some might be a little more golden than others. There's some blondish highlights. But generally, this would fall into the light brunette category, the high, very highlighted brunette category. British milk tea, on the other hand, is a category all by itself, as I've said plenty of times. Um, it has a lot of the same tones, but there is a there is a tone. It's some people say it's violet lavender uh, that makes it just a little different. So let me show you this, and let me see if I can get in the screen and show you this on the back, so you can tell that there's quite a difference in the body of the wig, even though the root is quite similar. So 
I see it there. There's this overall is a lighter color. Um, if you don't see them together, you can almost mistake this um, British milk tea when it's coming out of the box. In fact, I, I went, is this the right color? But when you get them together, you can tell that there's quite a difference. Uh, British milk tea is a much ashier color. It's a cooler color than uh, brown sugar sweet cream. Brown sugar sweet cream is similar to Shady Cappuccino and Raquel Welch, but that wig, shady, that color, Shady Cappuccino, is a cooler color, has more highlights. It's much more highlighted than brown sugar sweet cream generally. Now, I hope you can see the difference. You can, I don't know if this will pick up these violet tones in this color. Um, I did want to show you something else though. Um, I have the Caliente in British Milk Tea. And the rooting on this Caliente, I had it boxed up because I was trying to sell her, rehome re her. Um, I want to show you something. I don't know if this is going to pick it up correctly, but the root on this Caliente, honestly, is a little lighter than on this particular one, on this uh, Kona. I don't know if it's going to come across on here, honestly. Um, let me take it out of this package here. <clears throat> let me just take it out of the package. And so let's get it to... Okay, okay. Let's see if you can tell anything, any difference. Now, this overall seems like it comes across just a little lighter than the British Milk Tea on this particular Kona. You know, the variations, the curse of our... <laughs> this is the bane of our existence in wigs. Um... But yeah, this seems like it might be a little bit lighter. Does it have as much dark undertone on this one, on this Caliente in British Milk Tea, as it does on this one? Um, I'm not sure if you could even tell the difference. But in any case, um, yeah, it's, uh, let me see. I don't know if you can even see that. Let me see if you can even tell. I don't know. Let's see if you can tell. It's not a huge difference. Just, just and when you look at them in person side by side, you can tell. Um, sometimes the camera picks up things you don't see, and sometimes it doesn't quite pick up things that you do see. But in any case, there you go. Um, and of course, I can take this wig up and put it next to this wig here, side by side. Brown sugar sweet cream, British milk tea. You see there. Um, I think unless you don't like that in some that little cast of lavender or violet in some lights, if you don't, unless you just don't like that at all, um, I think you could almost exchange these two. Uh, some of the uh, pieces I've had in brown sugar sweet cream have been more highlighted than uh, this lemonade that I have, or even. Uh, the Caliente that I have currently. It just, uh, you know, variation. Variety is the spice of life, as they say. So anyway, that's all I wanted to show you was just how similar uh, that these two colors can actually be. The British Milk Tea and the Brown Sugar Sweet Cream. You can tell the difference right here. This is lighter, has a little bit of a lavenderish cast in certain lights, not always. I see it more on this straighter style than I do on Kona. But yeah, I mean, it's uh, they're both very nice. And I think anybody who could wear one can wear both. So, um, so ladies, um, you know, be on the lookout for people. I've seen, uh, of course, Taz's picture being used by eBay sellers quite often. Uh, she's used to it. I know she's used to it. Doesn't make it right. Um, and it's just, frankly, it's just the lazy way of doing it. A lot of people don't want to be on camera, so they don't want to put a picture of themselves in the wig. Uh, a lot of people don't even have the mannequin heads. Uh, I would advise everybody at least own one so that if you have to sell a wig, you can at least display the wig on the head. Uh, if you don't want your face on there, you can all, all also blur out your face on these pictures. Um, but please don't steal somebody else's image. Uh, it is their intellectual property, whether it's watermarked or not. doesn't matter that it's on the internet. 
it still does not, it's not public domain. That's what I'm trying to say. So, uh, I'll let you go. I just thought I would show you those comparisons. It's sort of an overcast day, and I hope this lighting doesn't um, betray me a little bit on this video. Have a good day, everybody. Bye.